Assalamu everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So this video tutorial will be on trigonometric graphs. The graphs of sin theta, cos theta and tan theta and their and the variations. So let's look at the first graph that is the sine graph. Generally a sine equation can be written as a sine bx plus c where this where the value of a is the amplitude The value of B tells you number of cycles within 360 degree and C is the axis of rotation. So if you closely look at this graph, the mean value or the amplitude value is 1. So since this is a graph of y equals to sin x the value of a is 1, the value of b is 1 and the value of c is 0 which means that the amplitude is 1. There is one cycle within 360 degree. So you can closely observe over here that there is only one cycle within 360 degree. So we will say that the period of the graph is 360 degree and the axis of rotation is 0. So you can observe that the curve starts rotating about the mean position and that is your this line y equals to 0. Now if you closely look at the graph you will observe that the range of this function sin x is between minus 1 because this the, the bottom point is minus 1 the minimum point is minus 1 and the maximum value of the function is 1. So we can say that the range of this sin x function is between minus 1 and 1. Achaji, we already have discussed that 360 degree is equivalent to 2 pi radian and period of this graph is equal to 360 degree. Now in the previous video I told you that the few identities that sin minus x is equal to minus sin x which means that if, if let's say x is uh, if let's say x is uh, any value, so sine of minus x, sine of minus x, let's say this is the value of x. So minus x, sine of minus x would be, would give you this value, right? And sin, this is equal to minus sine x. So if sine x had a value, this is positive x, sine x had a value, Okay, so sine of minus x is negative of what you get for sine x. The value would be same in magnitude but in the opposite sign. The next thing that we discussed in the previous video was sine of 180 minus x equal to sine x. So let's assume, let's take any value of x. Uh, let me take 30 degree, okay. So sine of 180 minus 30 which is 150 degree must be equal to sine 30 degree. So sine x, sine 30 degree. So if I take how, let's say sine 30 would be over here. This, this value would be same for sine of 180 minus x. Therefore, so the same value of the function is also at this particular angle which is 180 minus x. So if this was 30 degree then this angle is 150 degree. Achha, you can also observe the same thing for the last one sin 360 plus x is equal to sin x. So if you have multiple curves adding 360 would result in the same trigonometric ratio. So let's say if your angle was two seven minus two seventy, okay. So if you add three six, if you add three sixty to minus two seventy, you get ninety degrees. So the same trigonometric ratio over here, okay. The same trigonometric ratio. So if your value would let's say if your value was at this particular point, if you add three sixty. If you add 360, you get to this point, okay? So the same trigonometric ratio. 
ओके नाउ लेट्स स्केच फ्यू ग्राफ्स या सो लेट्स लुक एट हाउ अ टिपिकल साइन एक्स का ग्राफ फंक्शन वुड लुक लाइक दिस इज अ साइन एक्स का ग्राफ ओके सो साइन एक्स हैज अ मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस वन एंड अ मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ वन एंड द कर्व इज ऑसोलेटिंग बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड वन नाउ रिमेंबर डेट फॉर्म ए साइन बी एक्स प्लस सी सो द एम्पलीट्यूड इज वन ओवर हेयर बी वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो वन विच मीन्स दैट देर विल बी ओनली वन साइकिल विद इन थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री and the axis of rotation is zero as we can observe and look at the equation as well now if you have the same curve two uh, but same for same trigonometric ratio let's say the equation is y equals to 2 sin x this means that the amplitude has been doubled now so amplitude from the mean position from the axis of rotation would be 2 okay so if you closely observe this graph the graph for y equals to 2 sin x have a long, larger amplitude and Since the b value was one, still there is only one curve within 360 degree, and zero is the axis of rotation. Now, if the amplitude was half, this will be a new curve. So the, now the amplitude is 0.5. Okay, so this is what happens if your amplitude changes. Now let's look at the vertical shift of the graph. If you have sine x plus one, this means that the axis of rotation is one. okay and this indicates that the graph of sin x will move one unit upward so closely observe it yeah so the graph of sin x has been shifted one unit vertically upwards similarly if there would have been sin x minus 1 the graph have been shifted one unit down so this value plus c is for the vertical shift of the graph now if you have sin 2x this is the value of b this means that this tells you the number of cycles within 360 degree so if you have 2x sin of 2x this means that there are two cycles within 360 degree okay so the frequency is double so one cycle will then will be in 180 and the other cycle will be from 180 to 360 okay so the new period of this graph would be 180 degree because one cycle is being completed in 180 degree now similarly if the value of sin uh, if if you had a function of sin of 0.5x this would mean that there are half cycles within 360 degree so a complete cycle would take would be in 720 degree so for half cycle yeah so you see you you have a half cycle in 360 degree now let's look at the vertical uh, let's look at the horizontal shifting if you have the equation y equals to x plus 30 degree this means that the graph of y equals to sin x plus 30 would be 30 degree it would be lagging 30 degree backward it would be lagging 30 degree okay so the new graph is 30 degree behind and if you have x minus 30 this means that the graph is 30 degree forward leading the graph theek hai now if you were all if you were asked to draw sin of minus x so what you can do is you can enter the value of x as yahan pe minus 1 and you will see that the graph flipped okay it's the reflection in the y x in the x axis just a second so let's say i had this graph sin of minus x i am drawing on the same graph so sin of minus x is the reflection of sin of x in the line x axis if you have a trigonometric equation of cos so y equals to a cos bx plus c again a is the amplitude the same thing b refers to the number of cos cycles within 360 degree and c refers to the axis of rotation and this is how a typical cos ka graphs look like so cos of 0 is 1 cos of 90 degree is 0 cos of 180 is minus 1 cos of 270 is 0 and cos of 360 is 1 again again we can say that the range of cos x function is also from minus 1 to 1 and the period is 360 degree as you can observe from the graph now let's look at 
how were we doing this identities in the previous videos cos of minus x is equal to cos x meaning if you have a negative angle okay so let's say if this is the negative angle so cos of whatever this value is let's say minus x and this is x okay so cos of minus x and cos of x have the same value over here that is why cos of a negative angle is equal to cos of x cos of 180 minus x was equal to cos of minus x so you can observe this from the graph as well cos of 180 minus x equals to minus cos x so let's suppose x is this okay so cos of this function is giving you this value now cos of 180 minus x would be this value so cos 180 if this is x 180 minus x would be at this position so this value would be same as this but it will be of with the negative sign then you have cos of 360 minus x equals to cos x so cos of x let's say the same value and 360 minus x so let's say if x was 30 degree then 360 minus 30 would be 3 uh, 330 so you will observe the same trigonometric ratio at this point and this angle would be 360 minus x and say, similarly for 360 plus x you can add 360 degree if you were over if let's say your value was minus 270 and you add 360 you get 90 so do you observe that the cos of minus 270 is same as cos of 90 degree yeah now similarly you can use a uh, desmos graphing calculator uh, to visualize the sketches but if you remember what a cos x function look like you can easily sketch y equals to 2x 2 cos x plus 1 as well so let's begin our sketching y equals to 2 cos x plus 1 i know how a cos x function looks like okay so this was a typical cos x function but this time i have amplitude 2 there is only one cycle within 360 degree and the axis of rotation is 1 so your cos x function would be oscillating about 1 so let's mark the uh, let's mark y equals to 1 key line as your axis of rotation so this is 1 all right now the amplitude is 2 okay so let's figure out what's the what is the range of a function so we know that cos x is between minus 1 and 1 so 2 cos x would be from minus 2 to 2 and 2 cos x plus 1 would be from minus 1 to 3 so let me call this as 2 and this as 3 this would be 0 this would be minus 1 okay yeah so 90 180 270 and 360 degree sorry 180 degree 270 degree and 360 degree so this time my sketch would be you can also use your calculator okay so this was point one so what you can do is in your calculator you can fit plug in 2 cos x plus 1 and for values of 90 180 270 and 360 find out the values or you can use the sketching technique that i'm telling you so your curve would start from over here it will be the the amplitude the mean it will be at the mean position at 90 degree okay at 180 it will be at minus 1 at 270 it will be at the mean position again and at 360 it will be at 1 so so your graph would look something like this this would be a general 2 cos x plus 1 curve function curve sketch now the final sketch is for 10x 
again the a represent the amplitude b tells you the number of cycles okay in this the number of cycles within 180 degree number of cycles within 180 degree and c is the axis of rotation and a is the amplitude okay now when you plot this graph this is the basic sketch that you get for 10x so you can also verify this that 1090 will not give you any value from your calculator similarly 10 of minus 90 will not give you so we can make vertical asymptotes because our function is not defined at this particular point so let me make some asymptotes so i'll get an asymptote at 90 and minus 90 and similarly the the gap between the asymptote is 180 degree okay so the next asymptote would be at 270 and minus 270 as well which means that i won't get any value of my trigonometric function at 10 90 and 10 270 all right now 10 0 is 0 and you can observe from here that the graph goes till infinity positive infinity and here it reaches to out reaches out to negative infinity and this is the same cycle being repeated again okay so if you if you if you ask me what is the period of the graph period of the graph is the is the angle the uh, range of the angle where your one cycle gets completed so your one cycle is being completed from minus 90 to 90 so the period is 180 degree okay yeah so the period is 180 or pi radian and the range of this function is from minus from negative infinity to positive infinity and we know that 1045 is 1 so this angle is 45 Achha. and let's say if you were being given some variations so just for example y equals to 10 x plus 1 so the entire graph would have been shifted one unit upward so you see this was your axis of rotation now this graph would have been shifted to one unit upward over here okay so this point would have been over here this point would have been over here yeah and your new sketch would have been this 